seven, eight, nine areas. That's the main project objective. So, so find a ton of references that you may use, different squashes, pumpkins, and leaves, as step by steps on how to draw certain pumpkins. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and break this down for you simply. And we can do it together or you can do it on your own with your own creative style. Remember, there's no right or wrong. We just want to see these overlapping with that impressionism style from Vincent Van Gogh. So the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to make my grass. And I'm going to turn my paper landscape style horizontally so that way I can have more pumpkins in it. If you want more sky, flip it the other way. So to make some wavy grass with my pencil, I'm just gonna make like some lines, maybe like the letter C or B's. And you want these to be different heights. You don't want your grass to just go straight up and down. You're gonna try to curve it a little bit. So maybe some tall, medium, short. I'm going to keep going that way, try to change it up, and then maybe I want to change the direction of my grass. These are just like zigzag lines with a little bit of a wave. Making a big one. See? Little zigzags. Bigger zigzags. Maybe I want this one to be tall. It's totally up to you. There is no right or wrong way to make this grass. I just want to see kind of that impressionism style. So it's going to go in different directions. And like I said, some tall, some medium, some short. There you go. There's some zigzags. And take your time. It can go any way you like. Now, if you want to change it, obviously erase it, mix it up, change it the way you like it. Now, to make these pumpkins, I'm going to start with my first one. And I usually like to make you, you know, different sizes. So I'm going to try to make this one as big as my hand so pretty tall and I'm going to make a little rainbow and then I'm going to go curve downwards to my grass and stop like the letter C and you're going to curve the other way towards your grass and stop and there is a big center for your pumpkin you can also think of it like an oval or an egg shape. Now, pumpkins aren't perfect, so don't worry about it if it's a little lumpy. I'm going to actually make mine a little bit lumpy over here. There you go. There's some lumpy. Go back to the top. You can make like a C shape if you want it to be more perfect and a backwards C shape. And you could stop it right there if you want your pumpkin to be that size, or you can keep going and make another C shape. And another C shape. It's a pretty big pumpkin. Now, I'm not a fan of how this grass goes right there. So I'm going to actually make my grass even taller and kind of overlap. I didn't like how it touched the same spot, but up to you. Okay, to make a cool stem, you can just make a line up, line up. And then if you want it to be jaggedy, you can add some, a little bit of jag with some wavy line. Cool. There's our first pumpkin. Now the squash is a, if you want to make some squash, they are smoother. So start again with that smiley face. And I'm going to overlap it by just making a curved line here. I'm gonna make actually hold on. I'm gonna make my stem first. 
going to make the lumpy bumpy stuff. Her one over here. Now I feel like we still need a few. I need something else here. So, see this pumpkin's actually rainbow. I'm gonna make it go behind it in rainbow. This pumpkin and this pumpkin. I'm gonna make this one tiny. So same thing. Start with your little rainbow or your smiley. Upside down frowny face. Curve line down. Curve line down. Curve line down. Curve line behind it. And then another step. I'm going to keep going. And then a little rainbow. Okay, there's some pumpkins. Remember, this is the creative part. So think about how you want your leaves and your vines to come off. So you can make some leaves and some vines with some curved lines like this. Or some wavy lines like this. And then Make sure that you add those leaves on your plants. Just some wavy lines. And then the last step would be to add those leaves. And you can make it to make a leaf. A straight line is a very easy way to make a leaf. And then do some zigzags around it. You can practice those and leaves are not perfect. So try your best. You can make an easier leaf with just a straight line and a smiley face and a little rainbow shape. So it's really up to you how you want to make your leaves and your stems. We'll make them look 3D when we add our oil pastels.